Hell Harry? Hell Harry! 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 So welcome back. This is the second part of our ESC Nation previews of 2014. And uh, now we're gonna do the second part of the first semi-final. And we're starting with the Ukrainian song. Uh, this time it's called, uh, the song called, it's called TikTok. And it's sung by Maria Yaremchuk. Ukraine with the uh, TikTok by Maria Yaremchuk. Dimi. I think it's a perfectly harmless pop song. Yeah. I think they could have taken a step <clears throat> further when it comes to production because it's just a bit run of the mill now and doesn't really stand out for me. I would have loved it if they took it a, just a bit further to make it a bit more raunchy and, and just a bit, a bit of a slap in the face and now it's just a stroke. <laughs> but stroke is not that bad always. <laughs> so, no, and give it to me rock! <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> no, but you're, you're correct. It's, it's, a, it's a harmless pop song. It's catchy. It's TikTok and everybody. Uh, whatever. It, it, it's, it's a good, nice, clean pop song. And I can see it in the charts. And, and it will do well. And it will sell. And... It's not special. Yeah, it's good enough to make the top 30 in, in the charts, but not enough to make the top 5. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm. Indeed, if the, the, the top 5 needs to have an edge. Yeah. This doesn't have an edge, but it has a lot of different parts, and it's, it's well put together, and it's a good song. But, but it's not great. It's not great. It's good, it's not great. Of course, you don't know the, the act yet. Uh, but Ukraine yeah. always delivers. Always delivers. Always delivers. There's no doubt in my I mind. Still have, you know. I still have the images of the sand lady from Dusseldorf. Indeed. She, she did well, the song less, bit less. But um, this time again, you maybe... Uh, they'll no doubt in my mind that they will sell it. But I don't know if they really want to win. So they might just deliver a clean performance, but not go that extra mile to snatch the crown, okay. I think. It's probably such a high glass, <laughs> glass crystal glass ball. Orb, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, Michel, would, would you vote for this or just pass you by? Nice to see him. No, it's, it's, it's nice to see and it's a pretty girl, which is always good for me. And But um, would I vote for it? Uh, I don't know. Depends on the show is. Yeah. All right. So let's get some points for the Ukrainian song. I'll give it a seven. Okay. I'll give it a six. And I agree with Michelle with the seven. All right. That was the points for Ukraine. Um, next country to sing is Belgium. We're all, of course, three Belgians here on the on the couch. Um, so it'll be interesting what our reactions are going to be when we hear the Belgian song, which is called "Mother," sung by Axel Hirsu. So no objective voice on this couch here, because we're all three uh, Belgians and uh, well, let's hear our opinions about the Belgian song, Mother, actually. So Michel, it's the first time you've heard it in full. In full, yes, because uh, in previous times I just... Snippets. Yeah, and I, I just changed the channel as well. <laughs> this is really not my style and I think if, if you make a song this much about your mother, then you have some issues. You should see someone. Um, if if it, is it a is it a good song? It's Andrea Bocelli. It's it's uh, it's it's popular and it's it's uh, it's not my my thing. I get it that some people like it, but is it your thing, Lee? Really? <laughs> not really. I won't play it out of my own free will but when I hear it I think it's it's okay I think he's the most redeeming feature in this entry because he knows how to sing it he knows how to 
sell it, but mm. it comes across just a bit freaky. <laughs> I so, don't know. Is it the word mother that, that is so polarizing? Maybe. Because I won't and call my mother mother. I will call her mom or, mom, mom. or whatever. And yeah, the mother is so... Mommy. <laughs> Why not? If you're Freddie Mercury, you can do that. <laughs> but if you're... No, it's... it's and it's a bit weird. The atmosphere in the song reminds me a bit of uh, the Chiara, Chiara entries from Malton, Yitz and Wink. Um, he's got a, an unexpected sound. Yeah. So I think that is what draws most people in. Yeah, because 75, no, 57% of Belgian voters voted for it. Yeah, but I think uh, out of the entire national selection, this one had the most international appeal. Yeah. Uh, the other ones were just too either Flemish or too, too been right. there, done that. Um, this one stands out, but I don't know if he stands out for the right <laughs> reasons. You know that Belgians always vote for the underdog. Yeah. Always. And that's not always a good thing. No. No. So. I'm a bit worried that uh, people will like him and will applaud the, the fact that he's so nice and he sings about his mother, which he loves, I think so, uh, maybe in a strange way, um, but I don't know if people will vote. But you do have that kind of shock moment when, yeah. when you hear him, it's like the Susan Boyle effect. and. Perhaps that might just push him over the edge to, to the final. Yeah. But I think it's a case of maybe, maybe not. I, I think he's I think he's really solidly in the final. I just don't like the song as much. I, I keep the same melody and, and give it different lyrics. Would it be as as, as creepy as it is now? Perhaps not. Because I th I think the the songwriters are, are for a lot of people to blame here actually. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so but I think the the production is very clever. Yeah. The production of the song is very, very clever and it really, it really draws you in, mm -hmm. if you have the patience yes. <laughs> yeah. to, to start the song. If you're in the song, you're, song, you're completely in it. Indeed. Yeah. If you're forced to watch it, then you're... Why are you looking at me? I don't know. Why. <laughs> because we <laughs> looked into the couch <laughs> <Yeah>. just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, yeah, I, I I think he's solidly in the final, but I I, I don't think he he will. He's currently tenth in the betting. Would that be a good place for? I don't trust the betting. You don't trust the betting. No, no, no. I okay. really don't. So maybe we should trust our points then, and uh, <laughs> let's let's get on with it with the rest of the songs then. Um, so I give it a four. What about the song? Nope. I give it a chauvinistic six. A chauvinistic six. And I keep the middle ground with a five. With a five. Okay, so that's that's the points from the Belgian jury for the Belgian song, Mother. Um, next country uh, to be reviewed is Moldova. And they're sending Christina Skarlat and she's singing about, about her wild soul. So that was uh, Wild Soul from, from Moldova, sung by Christina Skyrat. Michel, we were talking in between the songs. So. <laughs> okay, um, I, was, I was actually paying attention. Yes, <laughs> very good of you. Yes. Um, first impression, this is, seems to be a song for some sort of uh, Disney evil queen musical oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, yeah like, like really, really I funny. have no mercy, I'm a bitch, but love me anyway. <laughs> and, uh, so the backstory told? Of yeah, the, uh, the if, if it's that, it would be great, it mm -hmm. would be good. Uh, on its own, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a standard song. Um, and it's quite heavy handed, isn't it, Timmy? That's what I like about the song. Um, the one thing that confuses me is the English is really all over the place and it's <laughs> really so random that you start to think, what the hell is she on about? <laughs> it about her wild soul. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You just hear random words and the rest of it is struggling with English. She should keep it in Romanian and then I think the power that she wants to convey would really come across. As she, as, as she intends it, but because that was, last year, didn't they? they? They kept it in Moldova. Yeah, and, and that was yeah. really a strong entry for me, and I think they should do the same right now because 
it's neither here nor there at the moment. Mm. Um, but there's something there that, that could make it work. I see the potential, but it doesn't come out for me. I don't really see the potential. I, 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 but I love no. drama. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, okay. Drama. It, has, it has drama, that's true. It, it does have drama, but it, I, I don't... I don't see the merit of the of the drama. I I, I think, yeah, like I said, it's it's a musical song and it it it, will, it conveys, uh, okay, what am I and what am I doing here and I don't have mercy and and things like that. I get it, but it's not an uplifting song. And I think in 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 in, in, in Eurovision, um, I think people will vote more for a thing that's happy. More healthy or a, a beat or I don't know I don't know I'm another Eurovision specialist like you guys, but um, I don't I don't really see it. No. Um, do you like the, the electronic electronic bits in, in between in the in, in the song itself? The were electronic bits. There were the dubstep. Oh, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it <laughs> the wannabe dubstep. Yeah. The dubstep. The dubstep. Yeah. Did you like the dubstep? <laughs> I quite like it. it can come across a bit forced, but at least it it's not very generic. So okay, this this song coming after Belgium uh, as a eleventh in Rwanda, I think is that is that a good place for them? And before San Marino, <laughs> which he hasn't heard yet. <laughs> well, I think it might benefit from it, but is it strong enough to to grab people's attention? Okay, I wonder. Yes. If, if people would, uh, I'm, I'm speaking against Belgium here, but if people would doze off a bit with our entry, <laughs> and then, then if then they are, are captured by this, it would work. Mm. Uh, if it, yeah, it can go either way. Yeah. So let's get some points for the Moldovan song, uh, Wild Soul. Um, yeah, Dini, you can go first. I'm going for a five. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for my five as well. Uh, <laughs> and I'm is. going for a four. A four yeah. for the Moldovan song. And uh, we are going to San Marino now. And, um, well, there she is again, Valentina Moneta. <laughs> and again, Ralph Siegel. And this time, he wrote uh, a song called Maybe. San Marino with the song Maybe, sung by Valentina, of course. I didn't know that uh, San Marino had beaches. I, I thought they were... <laughs> bitches. <laughs> bitches, <laughs> on the beach. bitches on the beach. Yeah, bitches on the beach. I didn't know that. Beach, beach on the beach. Yeah. Michelle. The watch sort of me. No, I, I just said it while, while we were watching. Uh, if, if the the other entry was the evil queen, this would be the princess looking out of the window, uh, hoping for something, maybe my prince will come. Yes. And um, it's, come. it's a decent song, and uh, is it memorable? I don't think so. I think it's uh, on the end, it, it went a bit faster, and it had some, some pep. Um, it's, it's good, it's decent, it's, it's poppy. Uh, I, I kind of like it. I, I'm not a big fan, but it's, it's okay. okay. We we uh, we think it's well. It's the best of our three songs, so which far. is not saying a lot. <laughs> no. so if I have to do this in a couple of words, maybe, but probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing you remember from this song is the way she pronounces the title, maybe, and then the rest of it is completely forgotten. Yeah. Sometimes it, that's enough. It's such a snooze. Really, wake me up before you go go. I, 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 for the life of me, I would not be able to remember the melody if there is a melody in this song. It's just oh, so bleak. It's no. It doesn't doesn't do anything. Does it me. do? Does it ring James Bond for you as well, Michelle? Or if some people someone, said so. If someone told me James Bond, I would maybe maybe. <laughs> But probably not. <laughs> probably, probably. I, I wouldn't put it in a in a, in a movie. But I I maybe I, I hear some 
resemblance, but... For me this sounds like the intro music of a, a hospital series. Oh, you know, like ER yeah, or, or, or maybe German, German soap. <laughs> German soap. <laughs> yeah, German soap. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't understand why Siegel keeps on trying, because it's clear he had his best days like 20-25 years ago. So. And Bisschen Frieden is from... Ah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And tons of others, tons and tons and tons of others. Too many other entries. He, he, he used to write a lot of good songs. Anyway, um, points for San Marino. That's Four points for San Marino. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna stick with the five for the moment. I think it's, it's, it's deserving of that. The three. Then I'll do the five. I'll do the five as well. All right, those are the points for San Marino, and I have to switch over my little uh, leaflet, and uh, we're going to go to Portugal. And I'm already laughing because I know um, people, <laughs> people have opinions about this song. And it's called, it's sung by Susie, and uh, in my best Portuguese, the title is called Quiero Ser Tua. That was Katie, uh, I mean Susie for, for Portugal <laughs> with Quiero Ser Tua, I Want To Be Yours. You, um, well, Dimi, I, you, I'm gonna let you have your. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I really hate this. You really hate this. This needs to die. <laughs> it's very slow and painful death. Uh, it's, I'm lost for words. She can't mm. sing. The act is terrible, the song sounds outdated, I have no redeeming feature in this entry whatsoever. It's in her defense, she was better in Amsterdam, I'm just saying, uh, singing live, I mean. Yeah, in front of like 600 people, what is she gonna do in front of an audience of 100 million? No, I don't see it happening. Michelle? I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a big no for me as well. It's um, it's dated. It's try, it's trying to be catchy, but it doesn't come across. It, the, the 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 creepy guys with the weird eye makeup and body paint, and then there's the the the, the drums that are and uh, that's there's everything. No. No, no, just no. No. <laughs> yeah. no. So, uh, and do you think? Um, I don't know. I, I don't have any questions about this. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's go to the points. Okay. Look, it's right here. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> can we give a zero? Well, you can go blank if you want. <laughs> oh come on! Let's you go blank. Oh, you can never go blank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it three. Yeah. One. Uh, I think it's 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 uh, oh. it can be fun if you're drunk on it's, the dance. It's no, 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 not it or something. It's last sketch oh, or something no. like that. Don't insult last last sketch. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they can take it. It's, <laughs> anyway, it's a copy, so a copy of a copy of a copy. People yeah. are, are not not happy with this song. Anyway, this um, this was the Portuguese Portuguese song. So uh, on to on to the Netherlands now, and uh, we're going to uh, Ilse Lange and Wales, uh, but. For this contest, they are called the Common Linnets, and they're singing Come After the Storm. Common Linnets, uh, Michel. What do you think? Yeah, it's, a, it's also the longest song and you, you hear it and it's what she does and what she does good. Um, I'm not saying great, I'm saying good very decisively. Um, it's an okay song, I don't know if it, it's, it's... Yeah, I would go sit down and listen to her and if she's on the festival I would go by, I wouldn't pay to get in there but if it's on the bill I would see it. Yeah. Um, but it's it's okay. It's good. I don't know if it's your your vision enough, but uh, it's a decent song. Because last last year, uh, Demi, they had uh, a MOOC with birds, um, and people do tend to compare it to that. I think the only thing you can compare is the um, importance of the name of the artist. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's something we don't have in Belgium that established artists are willing to uh, Take part. <laughs> possibly get burnt <laughs> by taking part in Eurovision. Um, I'm a bit disappointed is perhaps the wrong word, but miffed <laughs> miffed that uh, Ilse de Lange didn't go for one of her more up-tempo songs because yeah. I think those are really, really catchy and radio-friendly and attention-grabbing. This one is a bit too calm for my liking. Mm, it's a bit sad. Um, it takes a, a bit of time to get into the song. It's a bit repetitive in, already in the first minute of the song. So I do wonder um, if it will grab people's attention. Of course, it comes right after the car crash from Portugal, so <laughs> it just might look solid gold <laughs> to some people. Um, yeah, it's just a bit too flat, perhaps, mm -hmm. to really make an impression. I think. I think it will depend on how she will, uh, how they will bring it on stage. Because I think with this song, if you bring it flat, it will die and people would get bored. But I think the, the, the type of song lends itself to being changed on, 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 on the minute. Yeah. So, so to be, to be um, persuaded to... to yeah, if she, if she gets a little more emphasis in there, it might be a bit catchier, a bit... Better. Better. But I think the musicality of the song is definitely and it's exquisite and they sing it very well and I think that might sell yeah. the entry. And it's and it's it's a very good song. Yeah indeed. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know if it will work, but it's it's a decent good song. It's not my taste, but I get it. Yeah. They're towards the end of the first semi, so does that help for them? Yes, and I think if you see what's in the lineup right before them, I think they might be in with a shot. I, re I really like the song. I think uh, I don't. I, I don't think it's it's that attention demanding. It doesn't command attention, but I, I, I really can listen to it several times, and uh, it puts me in a good mood, a calm, good mood. It's almost like elevator music sometimes, though. I have to say. I was thinking driving song. Okay. On the background, the yeah. background, you know, movie driving soundtrack song. kind yeah. of yeah. thing. Yeah, indeed. All right, so let's have some Dutch points then. Let's do. I'm going for a seven. Okay. Yeah, I can't get it. I'll join his seven. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll have the I'll have the eight for uh, for the Dutch song as well. Um, so yeah, well, this to the penultimate song of the first semi, and that's Montenegro, and they are sending um, Sergei Chetkovic, I think. I hope anyway. Yeah. And uh, the song is uh, called Moi Sviet. I did practice for that. Moi Sviet. Moi Sviet. Moi Sviet. Sviet, a song by Sergei Chetkovic. Uh, Dimi? Well, it's a decent song. <laughs> if you compare it to a couple of the songs in this semi-final, I think this one has a nice build-up, it has nice orchestration. Um, it's a perfectly okay song, but it does very little for me because I've heard it before in Eurovision. Uh, we've heard, heard similar songs from Serbia, from Bosnia-Herzegovina. Um, Slovenia you, even. So, yes, yeah, Slovenia. So I guess Montenegro was due to give us a Balkan ballad, <laughs> but it really does very little for me. Yeah, Michel? Yeah, it, it's, it's, I, I agree completely. It's the same thing that we heard a lot of times. Um, it, it doesn't stand out. It's a good song and the guy can sing. Uh, and, and indeed he has big ears, but yeah, so, <laughs> you know, he can hear better, so he has a nice voice. And, yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's a good song. Does it stand out? No. I, I totally love it. I think yeah. even you know coming in 15th in running order, I think he has a good chance to qualify. Um, I don't know. I so, think he has a chance. <laughs> so the, the song in, in, in Serbian, I think it is, does that, is that a good thing or do you think he should have sung an English version of that? If you would have this in an English version, it would just 
feel very disjointed, I think, mm -hmm. and wouldn't feel too forced. So I'm happy to hear this in the, in its original language. Yeah. yeah, I think it's in the in the in Serbian. It's 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 better. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Okay. You guys uh, have your opinions, and I have mine. And, uh, <laughs> and think, are wrong. I'm only thing you have to give are the points. <laughs> oh, I'll be nice. Oh, he's nice. I'll do the seven. He's the seven. Yeah, then I'm gonna go for the six. six. <laughs> I'll, I'll add, add a hefty ten points for for the fanboy. Fanboy, <laughs> Montenegro song. All right, uh, that was the points. Um, moving on to the last song in this uh, first semi, and that's. Uh, this time for Hungary, and he's called, uh, the singer is called Andras Kalai Saunders. I have no idea if I pronounced it correctly, but uh, the title is called Running. She keeps on running, running, running from this crazy life. She keeps on running, 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 never sees the light. I can see the angels standing by your side. It'll be alright. What you think about it? I love this to pieces. You love it? Yeah. Uh, I love the color of his voice. I love the fact that we get finally some drum and bass in uh, Eurovision. Um, the only thing I do not like about this entry is... Well, the theme is a bit too far-fetched for me. Um, then you get these sugary lines like She cries, cries, daddy, why, why? That's a bit too forced for me. On the other hand, uh, domestic abuse uh, has never been done in Eurovision, so <laughs> kudos to them. Um, I think this is a very, very strong entry, very modern sounding. This could be a European hit, and this is a very, very dangerous contender in my eyes. I don't see it. For me, it's, it just plods on. Michelle? No, I, I, I definitely agree with Dimi here. Yeah? Um, I don't, I, I'm not that familiar with the Eurovision, but I think the, the introduction of drum and bass in the song, I didn't expect it, it grabs me. So that's good. I personally I like drum and bass. It's a bit of the Eurovision version of drum and bass, mm -hmm. uh, and and but I think yeah I like it. I like it and he sings well. Only the electronic voice at the end that that doesn't quite Much. fit. Yeah. But uh, but all in all, I think it's a good song, good effort. Yeah, definitely. He's currently fourth or something, and you know, or fifth yeah. in the, in the in the betting. So uh, you actually think it's that's a correct placing? Well, I can see them winning. Yeah. I really can. I would I would like to see them running yeah. actually, mm. because yeah. But that that's one thing I think everyone is emphasizing on dubstep nowadays, and while while drum and bass set, to me has a bit more potential on on, on in, in pop music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. But does this song need more variation? Because I think it's a bit the same same. But I think that's what. People who don't like drum and bass think it might be very repeti mm. re repetitive, and if you don't like it, you you won't be drawn to it. It just so, passes me by. Yeah, yeah. Um, to me, it, it really grabs the attention and and it sets the mood and and gives this uh, very haunted feeling. Yeah. But I can easily see that people would think it's it's very boring because it could sound repetitive. Yeah. Maybe maybe if if they put. Uh, uh, drop somewhere that, that they did have a, have a build up some, uh, at some point that, that builds up to the drum and bass part, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. And I think that could grab someone. Um, but I, I still think it's a, it's a, yeah, it's definitely a good one. Mm -hmm. It's very contemporary, anyway. So. Yeah, 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 definitely. All right, so get, let's get some points uh, in for the Romanians, for the Hungarian song, sorry. I'll do the 10. You do the 10? I'm yeah. going for a 10 as well. All right, so I'm, I'm going to be the, the party pooper. I'm going to give the 6. Yes, you pooper. I picked my pooper party <laughs> of Hungary. So, uh, on to the last song of this um, of this second preview. And that's one of the big six again, and it's Denmark. And uh, this year they sent, um, those countries sent Basim, I think in Danish. And, and they're singing the cliche love song. Well, it's actually called the cliche of mm -hmm. yeah. scuba duba dub da. You can sing a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> so the last song in this preview is Denmark. Uh, Basim, cliche love song, Dimi. 
I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. I, Let's get it out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I have got one huge, huge problem with this entry, and it sounds too familiar. Mm -hmm. I know it's called a cliche love song, um, but I only can hear the real thing with "You to Me Are Everything." True, you can you can sing it along. You to me are everything, the sweetest song that I can sing. Oh, baby, that's the only thing I can hear. <laughs> so. I can see the obvious quality of this entry. It's energetic. It's uh, it's very contemporary. It sounds like Bruno Mars. He sings it very well. It it screams winner, but I will be very very good at it if it wins <laughs> because it's it's surfing on it's piggybacking yeah. on a very very well known hit. And to me, that is not done in Eurovision. Really? Oh not. come on! That's not the first time we won't No, no, I know. But that that to me is it what should. Eurovision shouldn't be about. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what casts a shadow on Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And if this wins, there's no telling what will happen in the future. Oh wow. Well. But for now, but I can see I can see the obvious quality in yeah. it. There's no denying, but it it's really a strong no for me. All right, Michel. It's a big yes for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see. Why. I see your I really, point. Yeah. I really see your point, and it's it's a lot like Bruno Mars, and if you hear the, the the other song, and but it's it's catchy, it's happy, and from five seconds in, you're Scooby Dooby Doo uh, <laughs> along with it. Uh, they they're engaging the the audience if it's live and you're getting and you're getting the vibe and you're happy and this to me this is the number one contender this that I see you instead <laughs> <laughs> yeah indeed but still it's we all know I, I know the song and I I see it and I so I know it's it's. It's it's very similar to Bruno Mars and everything that's going on, and still I like it. Yeah, I understand. It, yeah. To, to to me, it's just a very big hurdle. Yeah. Does it does it matter to you if if you if, if a song you would vote for eventually was coming from the host country? Does it would you actually no. make the, the thing? I, no, I don't think about it. No, no, because it might be holding it back. Well, some people say the best really? song should win. I don't see why. They already had it, had it and let's move on to it. I think that's a very weak argument. <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> if it's a good song, it's a good song and this one really engages people. Um, Michel has seen this for the first time now and he's he was clapping along. Yeah. So that's what you need. Um, whether it's uh, the entry of the of the host or, or not. <laughs> what should it matter? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's just if people like it, they like it, and yeah. it's 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 an instant smile, yeah. and that's and that's that's what I think Eurovision should uh, was and was about. It uh, was about, and, and I don't know if it still is, but it's it works. Yeah, it works, and it will work on uh, every time. Every time you will hear it, you will be a bit happier. All right, they're currently third in the in the betting, I think, uh, and uh, I think it. It kind of reflects of, of the potential that's in there. But All right. Yeah, it's obvious. The points for the last song of this preview. Yeah, Michel. <laughs> 12? Yeah, just for the obvious reference. Oh, just reference. a 5. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add another 12 to the, to the pile. Um, I looked at the, at, at the scores for this first semi-final. I'm, I'm going to count the songs in the... In the in the final already. Um, so according to us, the songs that are on top are the first song and the last song. So Armenia and, and Hungary, both getting 26 points. Um, and they're quite similar, I think, in production-wise. They both have the, the modern twists at the end and... and uh, I'll need to see. Oh, well, the, the drum and bass song as well, you know, yeah. That, yeah. This, uh, so, do you think that they... they um, is that a logical conclusion? I think they can coexist um, just because the vibe is different. Yeah. Um, Armenia is way darker. Uh, Hung Hungary has a, a, a very dark theme, mm -hmm. but it's got a bit more oomph and power to it, while uh, the Armenian song is really dark in atmosphere. So I can I think they can coexist and both qualify for the final. Yeah, yeah me too. I think I think I'm, I'm, I'm leaning a bit more towards Hungary. 
but uh, but still indeed yeah okay. okay guys thank you very much for joining us again thank you for and, inviting uh, us yes indeed <laughs> thank you also for watching us and we'll see you again for the second semi-final uh, previews bye Once again, my boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>